Hey guys, this is Julia Sanagata, the Networking and Automation Manager here at Rumsey Electric. And today I want to give you a quick preview and tutorial on the new Rockwell Product Catalog app that recently launched for Android and iPhone iPad devices. Uh, just before the holidays, December 2017, Rockwell put this out and it is a pretty neat app at first glance. I mean, essentially it allows you to configure thousands of products right on the spot, right on your phone, but also get you product information, bills of material, drawings, tech documents, product profiles, and start projects that you can then um, share with your colleagues or your distributor sales folks to get quotes on. All right, so let's take a quick look um, at the app itself. So if you see my screen right now, you can see the app, the Rockwell icon in the upper left-hand corner. That's what it looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. And then at first glance, you'll notice there's actually two columns here, Rockwell Automation and Encompass Partners. I didn't mention, but not only can you configure Rockwell products, but a good amount of Encompass products as well. We'll focus on the Rockwell products for this segment though. All right, so what are we looking at here? Um, at the bottom lower level, you'll see four icons. Products, that's what's showing on the screen right now. My projects. Uh, we'll look at this again in a few minutes, but this is where you can create project bill of materials and save them and share them. Then locations, that's just going to give you your nearest Rockwell office or nearest Rumsey distributor location. And then follow us, that's uh, some social media links for Rockwell. All right, so let's get started. I think the most common way most of us use apps and websites and everything is by the search function. So if we go into the upper right hand corner, you see the magnifying glass. Let's go ahead and, and use the search function first as a way of looking at something. So right off the bat, you see here that you have the opportunity to search by keyword or catalog number. Let's go ahead and use keyword first. So let's say I knew I was looking for a PowerFlex 753 drive going to hit enter and immediately I see PowerFlex 750 series. Sure enough, the 753 is part of that. So let me go ahead and click on that. Immediately from there, you see this configurator of sorts. And it is essentially proposal works if you've ever used that, um, but on your phone. So we can go ahead and create exactly the part number we need. So let's do that. Uh, bulletin number, I'm going to pick a 753 like I said. Uh, voltage, I know I want a 480 drive. Now right off the bat you may notice that some of the text is in black and some of it's in blue. Blue is actually telling you what the preferred availability items are. So if you're able to select from blue, you would know that there's a high likelihood that either Rockwell or Rumsey Electric or your local distributor has that in stock. Alright, so kind of neat feature. But let's keep going. Uh, let's pick an output current. We want 3.4 amps. I'm going to pick a standard enclosure, IP20, and then let's get a filter in here. All right, we are good. So now you can see under the picture of the PowerFlex drive, I have a full completed part number. So I'm going to go ahead and hit accept, and we're going to get some more information. All right, there you go. So now I know that I've configured a full part number. I know it's a preferred availability drive. I know what the list price is. And then actually there's a few other options here where I could get a drive photo, I could get a product profile, the tech data installation instructions if I just clicked on it. All right, so in the upper right hand corner, there's a couple of other options. One is the pencil. The pencil is just gonna let you reconfigure if you wanted to change something, the voltage or the amps or something. And then there's the envelope or email icon. I love the concept of this because here, if I just configured exactly what I wanted, I can now type an email to my local Rumsey Inside person and immediately send him all this information and ask for a quote. Mike, please send me a quote on the drive below. Thank you. And he now has everything he needs to get you that quote pretty quick. And if you wanted to send this to a colleague, you could do that as well, and he would have the links to the information that was available. Okay, so that's been sent. Now the last icon is a folder icon. If I hit that, I actually have the ability to create a project and add this item to the project. So if I knew I needed three or four items for a project, I could start adding them. So let's say I am working on a project it's a new mixer 
and that is on line one. I'm going to create that project and I'm going to add that drive to it. All right, add it to new mixer. Good. So let's look at this one more way. So say you have something that you already know what you need. You know the catalog number. We can also search by catalog number. So if I go ahead and just change that to catalog number from keyword, I can start typing in the part number, say, of a PowerFlex drive that I know I need. Maybe it's something that I have on the shop floor already, I just want to quote on a second one, or I'm just trying to get information on a drive that I have. So let me go ahead and type that part number in on my PowerFlex. I'm going to hit search. And there you have it. Now we have all of our information on our PowerFlex 70 part number. We know the list price and we can actually immediately get things like a drawing on this one. It's been around a while, so there's my drawing. Uh, we could get a parameter list if you're trying to troubleshoot this. That is a great feature to be able to immediately pull up the parameters. Um, the product profile, the user manual, so on and so forth. And then we have the same options above. I'm actually going to add this one to our mixer project as well. Something else that I need. That's been added. Okay, great. So let's just go back out and look at one more thing from the main screen. And that's what if we, we didn't want to search? What if we just want to go look for something? So in this case, I know I'm going to need an HMI as well. I need a panel view. So I'm just going to look through those categories and select panel view. I'm going to go down. I would like a Panel View Plus 7 standard. And now I can select my options here as well. So let's say I want a 7 inch uh, single Ethernet. And I don't need to make it brandless because I'm not a machine builder. If I hit accept, there we go. I have a drawing for that. I have my list price. And I am going to go ahead and add that right to my mixer project. All right, so we're done. My project build material is complete. I have two drives and a mixer. And the last thing I'm going to do before we leave here is go ahead and hit that My Projects button from the bottom. I can open my new mixer project. I see all my items. And if you see those three dots on the upper right, if I click on those, I can do a few things here. Here I can duplicate, so if I wanted to do the same bill of material for line two, but just tweak a drive, I could do that. But what I really like is share. If I hit share, I can send this to my colleague to take a quick look. Great. And then if when he gets it, he can scroll down, he can see the part numbers. These will be live links for him, and he can take a review of that and let me know. So there you go. Off it is to Dave. All right. So that's about all I wanted to show you today. I highly suggest downloading the app. Again, it gives you a ton of information right at your fingertips. Play around with it, configure your first project, pick out your first part number, send it off to your local Rumsey guy. Thanks. Have a great day.